Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing a Laravel 9 e-commerce series. So now guys, in this video, we are going to learn how to generate an invoice. Okay, so we'll be generating the invoice for each orders. Okay, so when you view this product, we want to create a button so we can generate an invoice of this complete detail. So now guys, let's get started. So let's move to a GitHub repository guys, that is Laravel DOM PDF. Okay and the link is provided in the description so now guys first step let's begin with the installation part so this is the guys so let's copy this and get back to your code so let's open our terminal guys and start the installation as simple Control v and hit enter so guys let's wait until it gets installed installation is completed and now let's get back and just check for the configuration so here let's copy and paste here okay just clear the space and hit enter so guys our vendor is published and now let's close this terminal and get back to the composer file so where it is here composer.json and here you find that you find that your laravel dom pdf okay so now let's begin with creating the button to view the invoice and also to download the invoice so where we are going to create let's create at this my order details at this back button okay so now let's get started so first step, let's move inside this card guys and this is a card header and here is one button that is our back button. Let's copy and paste control C and V. Then we will name this as download invoice and again we will copy the same button. Copy the same button and paste here and this will be view invoice. And now let's change the URL. So instead of order, let's tell admin forward slash invoice and again forward slash with the dollar order of ID. Okay, so same thing we are going to copy. Let's copy this and paste here for the view invoice, same code. And now guys, here we are going to give forward slash generate. Okay, so we'll generate the invoice at that time we have to generate pdf so, yep guys and now let's change the design over here and for download invoice we will keep the name as button primary and for this view invoice let's give warning let's save and now guys let's see the output once so refresh perfect so we have got the view invoice download invoice and back button and now guys let's create the route to view the invoice okay so let's get back and yep oops i have just missed it guys let's control x and add here in the top while downloading you have to generate the invoice right so while download invoice that time you have to generate not while view so view means just view the data and i just want to view this in a next tab that is target underscore blank save it so now guys let's generate a route for this so first we'll view the out and then generate the invoice okay so let's go to our order controller only guys inside order controller only we will do the code so let me just copy from above and paste here so this is my invoice let's paste here invoice and this is the order id we have the order id here and this will be function name as view invoice okay let's copy and paste again and for the second one we'll keep generate invoice and this generate we are going to add here forward slash generate let's remove it so guys we have two routes one is for view and one is for generate and this both is going to be a get method not put okay so make sure you change this and now guys you need to go to your order controller and create this both functions so first let us get started with view invoice yep guys and uh, let's create a function 
the function name is going to be view invoice and here integer and then order id you got the order id guys when you click the view invoice and then you need to find the model order colon colon find or fail function so this find or fail function will give 404 if id is not found or done and then guys you can return return view function where you are going to return inside admin folder i want to create a invoice folder okay inside that invoice let's tell generate or view any file okay so generate invoice so now guys let's go inside the resource and create a path for this so first step let's move to resource guys resource views admin inside admin create a folder with the name invoice okay hit enter inside the invoice you are going to create a file let's copy and create a new file inside invoice blade.php okay generate invoice blade.php here is the file so now guys here you have to start with your template so guys i have written a small post on that very small post which is how to create a simple invoice template designed for pdf in html css okay so this will be our template view guys which is invoice template view here is the design and this is the source code so let us copy this complete source code with the style and html so let's copy this copy and get back and paste done guys as simple let's start from top so first i will fold this style tag and then get down here is our the logo and other user details and these are the dummy contents we are using now so now guys let us check this output first and then we'll put the data according to our orders okay yep let's get back and here we move refresh once and view the invoice so so let's click new invoice and it opens in the next tab because we have added the target underscore blank so now guys this is the view how it's going to be so now guys let us get the exact data so this order id and these data we have to get and show inside our invoice template okay now you can get back so first and here you see in the title we have to give order id so let us copy this dollar order of id you begin like this how are you getting this order because you have passed in that compact function so here you need to pass that compact function inside this compact function you pass this variable order passed and now you get this in your blade file generate invoice now you got your invoice id let's copy this invoice id guys and move below here is your order id and then the order full name all the columns fields okay so let's paste here again and tell tracking number and then email so order of email and then date format let me just view from view blade file okay so we have already coded that here is order date let me copy from here let's copy and paste paste it this will be a date format and then again guys you have to start with your phone number phone and payment mode payment mode and then address address and order status that means status message okay status underscore message and then pin code guys finally pin code done guys so these are where order details let me minimize this order details okay and now your order items comes so guys here you see we have id product name price quantity and total okay and these are the details which we have fetched over here 
and the total amount also. So now what we are going to do, we are going to remove this completely and get back to your viewblade.php, okay, invoice view, to this view, okay, at this order items. So this order item will copy it. So we don't have to code again. So if you're not understanding is this guys, please watch out the part 42 and 43 to understand this order item views, okay. Yep guys, and now from the table body, I'm going to completely copy it. So here is the table body, copy this, get back to your generate invoice blade and let's paste complete body here, done. And now guys, here you need to notice we don't have an image. So we are using an image tag, right? Let's remove that. Control X, as simple. So we don't want the image, all set. And now guys, you need to notice one thing. We are giving the some width here. So we have changed the width in this, like the pricing area is going to be percentage 15. Okay, 15% of width. So you need to give 15% and all the calculation is going to be done as same how it is. All set guys, and now you can get back now if you refresh you get all the same data perfect so you got the order id 6 and now guys let me view the invoice order id 7 so i'm going to change directly from here url so you get your order id 7 here is your order id 6 it's showing guys please need to change this why it's showing 6 let's go to the Invoice heading here, you need to change this. Let's update the dollar order of ID. And here you need to give the date format. So let's use double curly brace and use a date function. Date space again month space forward slash space here. So this is the company pin code guys. You can mention the static pin code and this is your static address. And here your comes your logo okay if you are trying for the image guys please update a live url image or else your pdf will not generate okay it will take more time so now guys let's save and let's check the output yep refresh cool so you see that today's date and everything is generated done guys and now let's get back and start with the download invoice so let's go and go back to our web.php, copy the function name, go to your order controller, order controller and create a new function with the name generate invoice. So yep, generate invoice and you get the ID. So that is order ID. And again guys, same condition, let's go P and paste here. So we are searching for the order ID, we got the order ID, and now we have to send and generate the PDF. So for that, you need to go back to your document, I mean GitHub repository of Laravel DOM PDF. And here is using, okay. So let's copy this. First, you need to import, copy this class guys, and let's import that. Let's paste that. And now get back to your function. And then, Let's copy this, copy and paste. And now here you see we have a variable called data. So let's take this data equal to inside array. Okay, inside array, you're going to pass the variable order. Order, you are sending that variable. And in that, what you are sending, you are sending the dollar order. Let's copy this and paste here, dollar order, done and this data you will send it in your invoice done and now guys you need to change this pdf load view so for that you have already created the path right so let's copy that and paste here so done and then guys you need to create an invoice name okay so for that you can just use concatenation let's use concatenation here and start with dollar order of id okay either you use this from this variable or you can get this dollar id directly done and then let's again concatenate for the today date 
So what we can do, let's use a hyphen here and then again dot dot dollar today date. Let's copy this variable and paste here equal to and use a carbon colon colon now function and format so format function to format the date so date month and year if we just need that all set guys let's save and you got the today date so make sure you're importing the class i have already imported it let me just show you here is a carbon done and now let's save now guys you can test it so this is order id 6 let's download invoice for this let's click here and you will find the download pdf file cool so we got that guys invoice 25 20 and pdf so we have got the date and invoice you see that guys it is attached that six invoice six it is written so we need to give some spacing i mean hyphen here let's add the hyphen in the beginning itself so invoice id6 date let's save and now guys let us open this invoice and check the output perfect so you we have got the invoice guys as we expected all the things should be correct here you see that there are some changes that it doesn't fix here so we need to fix that let's get back to our generate invoice okay so let's move below and here you see call span 5 and then you have call span 5 here let's make it to 4 okay so now guys here uh, we need to get back and check again in the template let's see in the template what we have given here so here you see that we have given call span 4 and total heading also so let's copy this total heading name i mean class copy this and get back so here you need to paste both total heading all set and now you can get back and let's refresh this first check the template here perfect so looking fine and now you can generate the template so download invoice okay let's click and view the invoice perfect so we have got the invoice guys and in the template i have shown the inclusive tax okay so here you see we have added this small thing inclusive of all tax so you can add this or else if you require you can add it or else ignore that okay so after this total amount inside this total amount we need to add that so if you want you can add it okay let me remove this colon in the beginning refresh done so guys we have successfully completed how to view the invoice and same invoice we are downloading also okay to generate invoice so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share